Hi guys, it's Crystal City, your homestead. So I am going to do a week of budget meals, pantry meals, and other stuff in between. So it's going to be a little bit different this week. Um, if I have to buy something, I will. Um, I'm still trying to pull from my pantry. Today's meal, I'm trying to get those red potatoes that I used that I bought for $5.99. I'm trying to get those used up because they're starting to get a little bit soft. Not bad that they would go bad overnight or anything, but I want to get them used up. So I'm actually going to plan two potato meals this week, and that'll get rid of all of them. And then I can go out and see if they have any more. <laughs> so um, I did have a question about crockpot meals for a week. Um, I shouldn't have said I hated crockpots, but I'm not a crockpot fan air fryer fan um I don't like my instapot <laughs> I am more of a hands-on cook um and I'm not a cook but you know what I mean I like to cook hands-on um I'm not really a fan of those so what I thought about doing is this week is already planned out um I plan a week in advance for everything so I make sure I have everything and then I'm not scaring if, you know, if I have to go do, you know, um, an appointment for work or anything, I know what I've got planned. And if I do go on an appointment, I can kind of change it around a little bit. So what I thought I would do is I will look and see what I can do for next week. But, um, if it can be converted to a crock pot, I'll let you know. So today in honor of that, I've decided to do today's dinner stove top instead of the oven to show how easily we can convert things and I see you guys say all the time that you know I convert it to my instapot or whatever so I want to show how easy we can kind of convert those things as well if that makes any sense so let's get to this and on crock pots like last night's meal that I made me and Tom did um we don't get paid on anything that's below eight minutes so it came out 35 seconds short. <laughs> and when you do crock pot meals too, everything is getting thrown in and you walk away. There isn't, you know, tons and tons of prep that it would actually take up, you know, time on your videos. And you guys have asked for longer videos, not even shorter videos. So that's another reason too. But, so let's get down to what we're making. We're making hot dogs and potatoes. And actually this too, um... <clears throat> Excuse me. I am adjusting to cook on the stove top, and this was actually um, something that was pretty good during the depression. I'm not using my big potato or my big knife today because I don't want little tiny chunks, and that's what I use the big knife for. I want kind of a bite-sized chunk, like that. And like I say, I'm converting it. I will post the, the one for the oven, and if you guys want to do that one, you can. But I thought, you know what, what can I do to make the stove top so that, you know, we can show that we can make meals any way that we want. And I think she felt bad about it, and you know what, don't ever feel bad about asking me to try something or whatever, because I don't mind it, you know. Um, Ask away if it's something I can't do or won't do or whatever. I'll tell you. It doesn't mean you can't, you know, ask me to do those things. By all means. Because sometimes I need ideas, too. <laughs> I scour and scour and scour looking for stuff, you know. And sometimes I could use the help as well. So that's, what, you know, that's what our community is for. You know, we help each other out. We do things, you know, that you know, that um, helps each other, and I think that's good. All right. But I'm going to add something, too, to this recipe as well, because I want to make this meal a complete meal. I don't want it to be just potatoes and whatever. You know, I was just thinking about it. I think... Then after I get all this done, I think potato or potatoes. 
I think onions would taste good with this too. So I think as soon as I get these potatoes cut up, oops, I just found one that's bad. I didn't feel it when I was washing it, but it was bad. So, you know, when you get a good deal like that, you know you have to use them up pretty darn quick because, you know, they don't sell them that cheap for no reason. <laughs> and I truly do love red potatoes. My favorite is yellow, but I love red potatoes too. All right, let me finish up these, and then I'll be right back. All right, so I got all the potatoes cut up. Now let's get those onions cut up. Again, we don't want big pieces with this. I think potatoes and onions belong together. Now the other stuff that I'm gonna do wouldn't have been with the um, meals from the depression or anything like that. It's just, you know what, I'm gonna make this my own. Just like, you know, you guys make everything your own as well. I'm not sure if you could do this in a crock pot. Probably an Instapot, though. There are a few things I do in the crock pot. But not a whole lot. I do make that, uh, that caramel sauce in the crock pot. <laughs> Let me put this off to the side for just a minute. Now it asks for vegetable oil. The only thing I use vegetable oil for is baking. And for my deep frying. I use olive oil for everything else. I'm just going to put a little bit over there. I've got my pan heating up a little bit. All right, so I need two teaspoons of garlic powder. And yes, for those that are not knowing me, my hands are clean because I'm going to play in my food. And we're going to use a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, but I'm going to use a whole, or onion powder, I'm going to use a whole one. And then it says half teaspoon of seasoning salt. Which I'll stick with that because I'm not the biggest of fans. And a half a teaspoon of paprika. I'm going to go ahead and use a whole teaspoon. I got this caught into my, um, what do you call that thing? That mushes a player from me. I kind of got that caught in there. And I'm going to mix that all together and get our spices coated in there really, really nicely. Alrighty. And then I'm going to put those in the pan. Now if you want to stick with the recipe, then you would um, put these into your the oven and you would bake them for 425 for about 25 to 30 minutes. But we're going to do it on the stove and let's see what we come up with. There's my favorite. If you have to add more olive oil because you know you're cooking that on the stove, you do exactly what you have to do. Because you don't want everything sticking in there. Alright, so let me get this mess cleaned up and then we'll get to the next step. Alright, so we did say hot dogs and potatoes. So let me give these potatoes another stir. I did add just a little bit more um, olive oil to it. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And I like it that the potatoes are actually getting browned. So that's one reason I wanted to turn it into a stovetop thing instead of just, you know, in the oven. So now the next thing, it calls for two cups of hot dogs. But you know what? 
same with everything else. I mean, I don't want to leave like four hot dogs in the refrigerator. You know what I mean? When I know what I'm cooking for the rest of the week. So, and we always look to extend our food because, you know, Tom takes his lunch goods. He takes whatever we have for lunch the next day. Today, he took the leftover shrimp and then he took my home canned, um, my home canned mac and cheese with it. He's like, I think mac and cheese would taste great with it. <laughs> So that's what he took. So I'm just going to, you know, cut these into the circles. And we're going to use these up too. Because I do like my hot dogs fried. I don't like them boiled. I think they'd get a little brown in the oven, but maybe not as brown as I'd like them to be. And two more. <laughs> Now, if you only have a couple of hot dogs in your refrigerator and you know you don't want to do as big a meal, then you don't have to. Use what you got. I think it's so important that we use up what we have in the refrigerator, freezers, you know, things like that. We don't want them to go bad. No food waste. Except for the one I just dropped on the floor. <laughs> that happens. This is when I wish I had a dog that come running out here and get that hot dog. So now look how full of a meal that's truly going to be. And we're going to get everything ground up. And then I'm going to add something that it doesn't ask for. But like I said, I want to make this into a full one pan food dinner. So I am going to add something else to it. Two things actually, and we'll see how that turns out. Um, anytime that we can, you know, add filler and hot dogs are a dollar eighteen a package yet. You know, if you buy the cheap ones. So actually um, let's see, 50 cents. Let's figure a dollar fifty for the potatoes, a dollar eighteen for the um hot dogs. So maybe four dollars is what we're gonna spend for dinner. So that's not too bad. I actually seen Tom's cousin's sister in law post something, she goes. Man, you know it really sucks when you only have $100 to spend a week on groceries. And so I told her, I said, go to my channel. She just liked what I said, but we can get away with doing a lot less than that. If we watch what we're doing and if we watch how we're feeding our families, it may not be the most nutritious, you know, but it's sometimes, it isn't always about the nutrition. Sometimes it's really about feeding our kids' bellies or our family's bellies. I would love to be able to eat all the fruits and veggies and all that good stuff fresh and, you know, go out and get me a cow from a <laughs> from a farmer and everything else, but I truthfully can't afford that either. So these meals, um, I, want, I just want us to know we can feed our families. There's no other way to put it. So I want us to know we can feed our families. And then we have leftover cake. We didn't, we could not eat it last night. I mean, we were so stuffed with that steak and the um, shrimp that we just could not eat it. <laughs> so we'll use that up tonight. Oh, and we had our salad too last night. So that salad ended up lasting for three different meals. That was good. And our cake, you know, this will be the last of that too. But I found something that this week I think I want to do for Thankful Thursday. I am so excited to try it. I think I picked something good. So, we'll see. But I'm going to get these hot dogs and everything browned up. Look at this, you guys. Honestly, bring it here. Look at how those potatoes are browning up. We'll get those hot dogs browned up. And then I'll show you my secret ingredient that I'm going to use. Alright, so, 
Now I'm going to add a can of green meat. And then my mind was going crazy. And I have some downstairs, but I'm not going to go down and get it. But what if you really, really wanted to make this a complete dish? Like everything in it. Like everything. <laughs> so what if you added some um, pineapple, canned pineapple? And then you have your fruit, vegetable, your starch, your um, your meat. You have everything all in one. If I had some pineapple up here, I think I would do that. You know, you can make your meals your own. I mean, why not, you know? Like I say, just because we do a pantry meal or, you know, we do... A meal that's not fancy doesn't mean that we can't make it our own. You know, it might cost a dollar more or something, but you know what? You do you. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this heat off. Because there's going to be a lot of heat held in that, that pan. And then I am following the recipe with this. I'm not going to throw it in the oven. I'm just going to let it melt on its own. Just a little bit left, no point in letting it go to waste. Just spread it out so it covers over everything. And you can put a lid over it, whatever you want to do. But I'm just going to like let the heat of the potatoes and everything kind of just melt it. Because Tom's on his way home, but he is going to stop today and he's going to get his hair cut. <laughs> they couldn't get him in yesterday, I guess two of the girls called off, so they couldn't get him in. So I'm going to just let this cheese slowly melt, and then we'll come back. I'll do a taste test, and then we'll let Tom taste it. But I think, honestly, adding some pineapple to that might be pretty good, actually. And there we go. Look at that. So, you know, my mind can go crazy. <laughs> I'm not crazy, but you know what I mean. So that you can, you know, add thoughts to it on what you think could make your meal even better. So, I'm going to let that melt, and I'll come back when it's completely melted, and we'll see. All right, it's nearly melted, but I thought, I can't wait. <laughs> I want to try it. So, here goes. Mmm. Mmm. For being a hot dog meal... I did add some salt and pepper. I forgot to tell you that. With all those spices that we added in it. Mm, that's really good. And it's, best of all, very inexpensive. Very budget friendly. I mean, most of those things you may have right at your house right now. Every less, less time that you have to go to Walmart or Meijer or Kroger or Piggly Wiggly or wherever you do your shopping. I think that's a winner. And it'll help you get through that week. So we just want to make sure with everything that's going on that we can still feed our family. And those babies don't go to bed with empty bellies. That's a good thing. So I will be back when Tom gets here and he can taste test it. I think he's going to like it too. Well, look at you, Tom. No more fly away. No more f <laughs> unfriendly hair. Waving bye bye to everybody. There's his cake over there. But this is potatoes and hot dogs. Mm. Go ahead. Go ahead. She wants to be a star. She's got to be in there all the time. Ooh, good. I put onions in it, plus I put some green pe green on or green, green beans. beans. So it's like a complete meal.
It was green. You were right there. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so you like it? Yeah, this is good. And it was cheap, too. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's important. Absolutely. So you guys have a blessed night. Be a blessing, and bye, Tom. Goodbye, Tom. <laughs> have a good night, guys. <laughs>